before we get started, just a reminder that these videos are made for doll collectors or people buying dolls for other people. This is not a video for children. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of an update kind of video on stuff that MGA is coming out with in the next, well, now and probably the next couple months. So if you're a fan of MGA, keep watching. If you see me looking down now and then, it's because I have my phone here with pictures and notes that I wanted to talk about. Before we get started, I don't know if anyone has heard in the last couple videos that I made, but I have an Instagram now, at beyond underscore the underscore closet with a zero. Uh, follow me there if you want to see random stuff like video updates, some photography, whatever. Follow me there if you feel like it. If not, that's totally up to you. And now let's get into the information. First things first, I actually was at Walmart earlier today and I caught sight of Sunshine Girl who was alone. I don't know why, for some reason, when Sweets and Spicy Babe came out, Sweets was there for a while and then after a couple weeks, Spicy Babe showed up all of a sudden. So. Uh, maybe that'll be the same case here, but I have seen Sunshine Girl out in the wild, so she's out there if you guys were interested in getting her. Another thing I found out in the wild today is the new LOL OMG Party Cruiser, or yeah, it's called the Party Cruiser. Some people refer to it as the Cybertruck. It's kind of like they took the original car and just kind of put a lid over it because it does the same kind of fold-out deal where you have like a pool and you have a uh, dance floor and everything but then it becomes a car again but it's you know it's cool it's futuristic it goes with the whole OMG theme of like funky and kind of 80s or retro futuristic I guess that's how I would describe a lot of OMG stuff so yeah, uh, that is out on the shelf too, so if you're looking for another car, I actually did see the Rainbow High color change car as well. I'd like to know more about how that works. I'm not the kind of person who gets like cars and big play sets because I just don't have the room, but I will be interested to see other people reviewing it in the future. So, there are two new OMG dolls on pre-order right now, and that is the All-Star BBs which are Cheer Diva and Vault Queen. And they are really cute. I really like the athletic outfits, especially Cheer Diva's jacket is like really, really super cute. It looks like this girl also has a ribbon, one of those like twirly ribbons that you do tricks with. So if you're a sports person, if you're a cheerleader, if you like to do vaults and ribbons, then these might be dolls for you. They are $26.99 and they should be coming out in August. So OMG's next really big release where it's like a whole themed line kind of like remix is Movie Magic this year. And there's been pictures circulating of the different Movie Magic dolls. So first we have the Studio Surprise, which is the really big playset, kind of like the remix, um, the band, I forget what it's called. but. Whatever. I'm not good with all the names. They're so similar, even though they're slightly different. The Studio Surprise Play set comes with what looks like kind of like a backlot backdrop and then a Marilyn Monroe inspired doll. And I'm not sure who the other doll is supposed to be. I'm not into the tots and there's mostly tots and babies and pets in this set compared to the remix set which had four full-sized OMG dolls and only four tots. So I didn't get that either because I wasn't into all four of the girls. So I'd probably be passing on this set too. But it does look really cool. I think the idea that you have all of the little studio pieces plus each of the individual Movie Magic dolls kind of comes with a stage setting. You could probably make a really cool setup and take some cool pictures, maybe even make your own little LOL OMG movie. So the four regular individual OMG dolls, as I'm sure you know, are Galaxy Girl, Starlet, Spirit Queen, and Misdirect. And the idea behind these dolls is that they have two looks, 
that kind of go in the theme of their movies. So Starlet was kind of like going from black and white to color, Galaxy Girl, kind of like the old version of what like sci-fi was to the new version, at least that's what I'm assuming. Um, Misdirect is a civilian superhero, and then Spirit Queen is just like a witch to a different witch, I think. The thing about these four, some of the switches work better than others. I think Starlet's is really good. I think it comes across the black and white to color. Um, I know a lot of people had said Galaxy Girl looked like Kitty K in the beginning, but I think now that they've shown actual pictures of her, she has like the purple hair. So she does look different as a doll and her makeup is definitely really more dramatic and science fiction, but um, I don't know. Her outfit kind of looks like something out of the Jetsons, <laughs> so I'm probably gonna pass on her. And Spirit Queen, yeah, hers doesn't look too different. If you really want to make like a dramatic change from one to the other, you really gotta stick with it for all of them, not just a couple of them. Miss Directs is definitely the best. She would probably be my first choice if I was gonna get one. I'm still on the fence. I love that her hair is like, one side is the black and white, like the newsprint, and then the other side is colorful, and she's actually got the different colors on either side of her head to go with that. I think she's probably the coolest one out of all of them. So now, moving on from OMG dolls, we have gotten a lot of new pictures all of a sudden of the Series 3 Rainbow High dolls, which I've been excited for since we saw the concept art. So at this point we know everyone's names except for the Orchid Girl. I don't know why, she's the only one that whose name hasn't popped up yet, but we have Cheryl Meyer, Daria Rosalind, Daphne Minton, Gabriella Isley, and Georgia Bloom. Gabriella and Daphne's last names are a little on the nose. I think they're kind of running out of pun ideas at Rainbow High. Uh, Georgia's name though, it's good because it's like a regular name someone might have, but it also represents peaches, which is her color scheme because Georgia's state fruit is peach and their whole thing is peaches down there in Georgia. And Cheryl, if you didn't realize what her yellow significance was, Meyer for Meyer lemons. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who realized that, but just in case you were kind of like confused about it, because it took me a while to figure it out. It looks like Cheryl, Daphne, and uh, Orchid Girl all have the new face sculpt, the same as the twins. And then the other three have the old face sculpt, like series one and two. Oh, you know what? I think Daria uses the new face sculpt too. I was a little bit disappointed when I saw the Orchid Girl. I thought she was gonna be definitely my first choice, um, but I was hoping her hair was gonna be more like the concept art with that wine red burgundy color, which it's fine. It's just not what I expected. Actually, unexpectedly, I really like Daphne. I didn't think I was gonna like her at all, but from concept art to actual doll, I definitely like her a lot. I'm not really super into Gabriella. I don't, I don't know about her second outfit. I'm not really into snake print or anything, but I do like her sweater. I want to see if I can get the sweater secondhand from somebody. All these pictures are kind of like product pictures, like you would see on. Target.com or Amazon or whatever, so usually when those pictures start popping up, it's not gonna be very long until the dolls actually show up, so I'm guessing they're gonna be out next month. I could be wrong, it says fall 2021, but you never know. Also with Rainbow High, we got some better pictures of the dorm house playset that is going to be coming out. This is going to be $199 and it's supposed to be coming out next month. So one of the things, if you notice in the background, there is a Jet Dawson doll on the shelf in the background of this bedroom. Does that mean that there are Rainbow High dolls in the universe of Rainbow High? Are the girls going to make themselves into dolls in the series at some point? Or are they actually dolls and this is all someone's imagination? They made up a whole thing about a rainbow school? Well, technically somebody did. But it does look really cute. There's a lot of 
cool things. I see like a washer and dryer. There's a lot of furniture pieces. It says that it's a 360 play, so there must be some stuff on the back that you can get to. A real working shower and sink that pumps water. It also is going to come with some little accessories such as makeup palettes, sketchbooks, laptops, coffee cups, water bottles, and more. And I love to that there's actual fabric bedding and pillows on the bed. The couch doesn't look plush. It looks like it's just plastic, but it is very stylish. Definitely looks like something that fits right into Rainbow High. There's a hot tub because obviously MGA dolls really love their hot tubs. I think a lot of people are gonna be getting this for Christmas and it's gonna be sold out all over the place. So get it when it first comes out. Don't wait until like, Black Friday because it's gonna be gone already. And finally with Rainbow High, we have some updated pictures of the closet playset, which I am absolutely living for. We can see that it actually comes with a little clear plastic chair. And there's this picture that shows each individual outfit and accessory piece. So it looks like we've got some overalls, there is a butterfly kind of halter top thing going on, which I guess represents Poppy. A cute little hoodie that is a color block. There's pants with rainbow lacing. There's some cute sneakers. Oh my God. There are so many nice pieces. There's some rainbow high earrings. There's a purse. I cannot wait to get this. And there's even a little mirror in the back of the closet. If you can see in these pictures that there's a little reflection. You got all your colored hangers. Oh, I cannot wait for this to come out. I am gonna, it, I probably have too many clothes already to squeeze all into this closet, but I'm so ready for it. I am so ready for it. Last but not least from MGA, this picture popped up on youloveit.com like yesterday and I was horrified. What the heck are these? Oh! 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 It says what they are. They're called Glitter Babies. It's a new line of baby dolls, but they are so scary looking. They look like a lizard fish alien hybrid like look, what is wrong with their faces and their eyes and their mouths ugh. I ugh. Ugh. no I there's no reason for that there really is no reason for that if you're at all interested I mean no judgment on you that's just really not my thing um, but they're gonna be $29.99 and they're gonna be releasing on August 1st. So yeah, glitter babies. All right guys, well, that's all of the MGA updates that I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around to the end, please like this video if you liked it. Let me know in the comments what of these MGA products you are looking for, looking forward to, and maybe having nightmares about later on tonight. Okay. Follow me on Instagram if you're interested, and I will see you next time. Bye!